Oh my god. Um, college football is an insane sport, and um, I think it was just a fantastic game today between Tennessee and Georgia. I want to start off this video by saying I'm not a fan of either of the teams. I don't like either of those teams. I live in Tennessee. Um, I'm around a bunch of Tennessee fans. I'm not a Tennessee fan. Ohio State fan. Um, my mom's a Tennessee fan, if that just goes to show you. But uh, I have nothing against Georgia. I really don't have anything against Tennessee. I just don't like the SEC. So I really don't like these two teams uh, about evenly. I mean, I'm not going to be biased in this video is what I'm basically trying to say. Um, Tennessee should not have won last week's game. They should not have won this week's game. They probably shouldn't have beat Appalachian State. Um, they probably honestly uh, shouldn't have beat Virginia Tech if Virginia Tech could hold on to the football and not fumble five times or whatever it was. Uh, who did they play week three? They probably, honestly, Ohio, they probably shouldn't have beat Ohio if Ohio could just get touchdowns in the red zone. I mean, this Tennessee team is just barely getting by. Um, but hey, that's sometimes... All you have to do to win the football game and to win a season. However, they remind me a lot of the Florida State team uh, two years ago that made it in the college football playoffs, got blown up by Oregon in that one. Um, obviously, we went on to win, but uh had to throw that in there. Then last year, it reminds us of us. Uh, it reminds me of us last year uh, as Ohio State as we were just getting by these easy teams. Um and then when we played a good team, we did lose, but then we beat Michigan. I don't know. No. I don't know how long Tennessee is going to be able to just get by. They play Texas A&M next, next week, and I think if they get off to this slow start that they've been getting off to in the past pretty much every game, I don't know if Texas A&M is going to allow them to get back in the game. Now, Texas A&M did not look great at all today, um, but they got it done 24 to 13 over South Carolina and I don't know they just did not look great today so I'm not exactly sure if they should be ranked number nine I think it's gonna be a great matchup next week I feel like that may be where college game day goes I don't quite know yet um I don't know if there's any other big matchups uh, for next week Georgia should have won this game uh I mean it all came down to a Hail Mary if you didn't see it a 43 yard Hail Mary a um, few things, just kind of critiquing both teams. Tennessee's rushing game was a little slow today. They gave, they had a total of, I'm doing quick math in my head, 37 rushes and roughly, not roughly, hundred thirty yards. So what, 37 carries, 130 yards. That's not a great average. They did have one touchdown by Dobbs on the ground. Um, I just dropped my pen. Receiving Juwan Jennings, 71 yards and a touchdown. 43 of them coming on the Hail Mary. Heard had a touchdown. We didn't see hardly anything I heard after his touchdown that wasn't a touchdown. After his touchdown catch, but then he almost had that earlier touchdown catch. I don't exactly know if he got hurt. I didn't watch his entire game. I, I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't watch until about the mid-third quarter uh, when the game was kind of getting interesting. The strip sack by Tennessee to give them the lead. Georgia's... Thought they had the game won when they scored with, like, 12 seconds left. Uh, Georgia should not have kicked it to Evan Berry. He is the best kick returner in the uh, country in co when it comes to college football. And kicking it to him was not smart. They got better field position than if you just kicked it out of bounds. I understand kicking out of bounds probably keep more time on the clock, but squib it opposite of him. I don't know if he was in the middle of the field, but then kick it deep. Don't give him a chance to return the ball. Don't give him a chance to make a play because he is the best at that position. In the country, you can go look at stats. I believe he uh, had the best average last year, and he's as dominant this year. Um, Tennessee needed a big play with 12 seconds left, and they got it. They got a, I'm not sure how much he got, but I know he got him in Hail Mary range where Joshua Dobbs could get that ball to the end zone with four seconds left. And a good job by him, you know, but if I'm Georgia, I look back at that and I say, why? Why not just tell my guy to kick it deep, then make him return it all the 100 yards, or kick it deep, he won't return it, give them 12 seconds on the clock, but they are at the 25. They have to go 75 yards. Instead, you may only make them go 43. They could, kick, they could have kicked a field goal from there. 60-yard field goal to tie the game. It wasn't that insane. That's a very long field goal for college, but, I mean, that's a field goal that's been made before. So, uh, that's, that's about all I have to say about that. Um, passing, Dobbs looks okay. 
to have one interception, three touchdowns. Easton looked pretty good. Uh, he did throw an interception and had that fumble, but yeah, Sony Mitchell, the uh, the backup replacement. The running game for Georgia uh, looked pretty good today, with Mitchell getting 16 for 91 on a score, uh, Harrigan getting 15 74, and McKenzie getting 522, being the lead rushers. Penn State beat Minnesota. I just got that alert. Yeah, it looks like a close game. I didn't watch that one, but um, receiving Isaac. Nuanta, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'm sure I did. Five catches, 83 yards, touchdown. I think he was the one who got the uh, last second touchdown for them. Crazy game. I don't want this video to go on too long. Um, there were goods and bads. I think Tennessee's got to get started earlier. They've not shown up in the first half of the past two games. They haven't shown up in the first quarter of every game this season. Um, they showed up in the second quarter of Virginia Tech. They showed up in the second quarter uh, of Ohio. They didn't show up in the first half of Appalachian State, and they obviously didn't show up in the first half of this game, or Florida. Um, yeah, that's about all I had to say. If you're Georgia, very, very tough loss. Um, just some mental mistakes, I think, by the coaching staff. Kicking it to Evan Berry. Uh, I don't know. There were just, there was just some different things. The, the First off, the penalty. Let's talk about that for first off. Um... The penalty of the excessive celebration, not excessive celebration, but he took his helmet off before leaving the field after the touchdown. That cost him some kick yards. You look at that, I mean, that could cost him. That maybe why they didn't kick deep. I, I understand that now. I actually remember, I just remember that a penalty happened. Um, anyway, that's about all I have to say about this game. Tennessee wins 31 to, no, 34 to 31. Excuse me, Tennessee wins. Uh, very, very good football game. Love these, these games. Tennessee, 20 points in the fourth quarter. Uh, Georgia did score a touchdown in every quarter, but... Tennessee just uh, a second half team, which again it reminds me of the Florida State team, a team that's going to come back in second halves. But are they always going to be able to do that? What if they get in too large of a deficit uh, in the first half? That's what I'm scared about. If you're a Tennessee fan, Georgia, you guys look good. Sony Mitchell could be a good running back if Nick Chubb is going to be out for more uh, more time. Uh, Eason, you guys have a great young quarterback. He has an absolute cannon. Um, Georgia, I think Georgia will be a good football team in a couple years. Um, one that's definitely going to contend for the SEC. Uh, at least the SEC East, maybe even the SEC Championship. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you did. Be sure to leave your comments on this football game. Crazy one here. I'm not going to be doing the recap of all these games. However, this one, I obviously felt like I had a special uh, ending to it, I guess. If anything has like that happened. Like the St Washington-Stanford game, the absolute domination. I put one on that yesterday. It did cut off a little early. If you did watch that video, I do apologize. That's my fault. Um, something happened with the editing software. Be sure to subscribe, like, and uh, share the channel. I'll see you guys uh, later in the next one.